Saturday morning. Of course, we are here. We are here to talk about the weather impact alert that we have going on into Sunday. Plus, right now, we're currently tracking a couple of showers, mixing in with snow, and even a little bit of sleet over toward the mountains and in the foothills, albeit starting to dissipate fairly quickly, but we'll track it all for you here. As I put this up for you, the screen up for you, excuse me while I get this situated for you. Um, as we continue to kind of track this, we'll uh, talk about what we're seeing kind of as we go. So currently along the radar, this is what we're looking at with some more snow kind of building in in portions to our west over toward Wilkesboro. We've been seeing this over the last couple of hours, but notice how it's starting to become a little bit less of a line and more so just isolated. As this has moved over the mountains, it's kind of gone down slope, which has caused a little bit of drying with this line that's moving through the area. So as it kind of moves toward us here in the Piedmont over toward Guilford County and in Rockingham County likely just some spotty showers really over the next hour or so max. Um, any sleet or anything is likely going to be staying toward our west over in the foothills and will likely be gone here just within the next half hour or so as these um, this system kind of is a very quick moving uh, system through our area. We're seeing some of those isolated snow showers over in portions of Wilkesboro right now, Wilkesboro and also a little bit of sleet mixing in right now in Mount Airy. I'm not expecting this to be very impactful at all. If anything, I'm expecting it to be maybe a pretty sight over in the mountains early this this morning um, more than anything else very minor impacts with this I did want to show some of the temperatures currently across the map right now 32 in Wilkesboro so right at that freezing point hence how they're able to get snow all the way down to the surface but toward Mount Airy temperature is actually right above freezing that's when you can see a little bit more mixing toward the surface too whenever you have very cold air in the top of the atmosphere you can get uh, warmer air toward the bottom and then that's when you start to see a little bit more of that mixed precip that we're currently seeing right now in Mount Airy versus obviously over for us in Winston-Salem, Reedsville, Greensboro, a couple of light spotty showers. Those are going to be purely rain. Why? Well, you can see the temperatures well above freezing. We're in the upper 30s and lower 40s, 41 in uh, Reedsville, 38 in uh, Winston-Salem. So we'll be tracking that for the next couple of hours. I haven't seen any storm reports on here of any uh, freezing rain, snow, or sleet as of yet. Um, ma mainly just on my phone, I've been looking at the radar app. Um, for any reports and there have been a couple over in the mountains earlier on this morning of some snow um, and the only ones I've seen have been over in Surrey County and in Yadkinville um, as well as in uh, Wilkesboro for just some light rain currently. Going to downtown Boone right now it's a pretty wet scene we've been seeing some isolated snow showers kind of all throughout the morning um, it's a pretty scene right now. It's around 30 degrees, certainly cold enough to continue to get those showers. But with the quick moving system, that moisture is going to leaving the area fairly quickly. So it's already continuing to push east. And as it does so, that's when we're only going to see just purely rain, a couple of isolated showers for us, mainly in the Piedmont. Now, Beach Mountain, pretty much a winter wonderland right now. Beautiful this morning. Take a look at that. They even got their own, they still have the, some of the Christmas lights out there on that bush too. Beautiful this morning, 7.30. Um, yes, they've been seeing lots and lots of uh, snow showers from late last night into early today and really over the last couple of days too. It's pretty nice and wintry. So over the next couple of hours, again, this is all in association with a quick moving cold front moving in across the region from the west to the east. We're going to be seeing that line continue to dissipate well within the uh, next hour or two. An isolated sprinkle or two is going to be possible here as we step into the next hour or so, but then we are going to be drying out. Take a look at this. By the afternoon, sunshine, plus you see those little wind barbs noted in those white arrows. Those are coming in out of the south. That's bringing in warmer air. We're going to be right at where we should be for this time of year, around 50 degrees stepping into this afternoon, which, you know, I'll be warmer than some of the days we've had recently. But as we step into the night tonight, everybody's focus goes on to that snow chance that's coming into Sunday, right? Snow lovers, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for this broadcast just because I know we had we had some hope with it. And there are some models that may continue to give you hope, but as of right now, chances are continuing to decrease for snow in our area. 
especially into early Sunday morning right now, where temperatures likely aren't going to be cold enough to get snow all the way down to the surface. While higher in the atmosphere, it might be cold enough at the surface. Well, you see those temperatures. We're in the upper 30s and lower 40s starting out in the morning. Likely just going to be some rain. I mean, much needed at that with this low pressure system moving in early into the morning. We'll take it into later on by around 7 or 8 o'clock. We could have some wet snow mix in. Whether or not it's able to stick, maybe on elevated surfaces, not expecting a lot of big impacts with this. Uh, could get cold enough for a couple of isolated snow showers to continue through the early morning into the or later morning and early afternoon. That's when we start to see it kind of transition into the early afternoon to mainly an all snow event as temperatures continue to drop. But notice those chances kind of well east of our area and uh, toward the northeast too. So any of these showers, any of that moisture that's able to, to hold together above our heads while to our, or well after those temperatures are able to drop from the upper 30s and lower 40s earlier in the morning, then we could see some isolated show, snow showers. But chances are that we're not gonna be seeing much, very light accumulation if any at all, very light. So for those of you just joining us, we are talking about the snow chance into the day tomorrow, and the chances are continuing to kind of dwindle across the region. Here's that latest feature cast into Sunday afternoon. Again, some wet snow possible, but whether or not it sticks is a question of itself, but whether or not we even you know, have any accumulation is a better question. I think ele elevated surfaces obviously have a better have a better chance. Maybe some slush in grassy areas because I think it's obviously going to mix in with a little bit of rain too as temperatures start out ab well above freezing early on in the day. Um, but I don't think there's going to be lots of impacts. I think for the most part, late Sunday night, we'll have to watch for any spots that could refreeze or perhaps lead to some black ice on roadways where there's been some rain. But for the most part, um, other than that, not looking like that many impacts from this system. We'll talk more about it in just a second. Temperatures right now are currently in the upper 30s and lower 40s. 40 in Greensboro, 37 in Burlington. Notice toward Wilkesboro, cold enough for snow here. Not happening this morning with that line of that cold front moving through. Just some isolated showers for us. And, you know, that line's continuing to dissipate as we speak. Lots of clouds, at least to start the day, 40. But you'll notice there, kind of on the middle of your screen, winds are coming in out of the south. That's bringing in much warmer air that we'll be seeing heading into the afternoon. So take a look at this, this forecast planner. Seeing snow toward our northwest, um, over toward the mountains and in the foothills this morning, already starting to dissipate and move through the area. This afternoon, warming up, we're going to be back in the upper 40s to right at around 50, which is right where we should be for this time of year. Now, you see extra clouds kind of moving in later on by around 7 or 8 o'clock. Well, that's that next system starting to approach. So we'll take a little bit of a closer look here in our future cast at what exactly is happening, too, so you can get a better idea. Starting to become really widespread later on tonight with these scattered showers moving in. And notice really through around 5 a.m. or so, not really seeing much, if anything, but just rainfall. And that's because temperatures haven't had the chance to get below freezing. Northernmost counties, better shot of seeing some wet snow because they're able to see temperatures drop first as they are a little bit north of us. Really, by the time we get to around five or six o'clock, that's when we could see some wet snow, um, isolated pockets of that with the system. Later on into the morning, starting to see those temperatures. Now we're in the 30s, low to mid 30s across the area. Certainly uh, cold enough to see some flakes early into the afternoon, too. It's just going to depend on how much moisture is still available, again, over our heads from low pressure. Um, as we head into Sunday. Notice wind barbs also coming in out of the north at this point following the front. There's a lot of key factors that have to align for us to be able to get snow here in North Carolina. And you know, one of our chief meteorologist Tim Buckley's rules is, well, it's hard to get snow in North Carolina. A lot of times you have the moisture chasing the cold air or um, vice versa. But in this situation, you know, you have to have the cold air and the moisture. And it seems like the moisture is actually arriving before the cold air can really sweep in behind the front that's making its way currently through our area right now. So we're going to be in the upper 30s and lower 40s when the moisture arrives, which just isn't cold enough. Temperatures are going to be falling as the moisture stays with us. But 
Is it going to be enough to really give us an accumulation? I don't think this will be a, a sledding type of snow. I think this will just be a very light snow, if anything at all. Again, elevated surfaces, slushy maybe a little bit of some of that rain and snow mix, maybe some sleet and some grassy areas. But other than that, it doesn't look to me like this is going to be a, uh, a, big, a big event. If anything, it's just going to be a cold Sunday, very dreary to start with some rain, maybe some flakes mixing in here and there, especially into the afternoon with that afternoon kind of transition that becomes a little bit more toward just snow. Now, this was drawn up just last night, and this is kind of from what we expect all the way to the, the highest uh, the highest kind of threshold of what could happen. So flakes in our area, certainly a possibility, especially with that wet snow later on late morning on Sunday and into the afternoon, mainly for grassy and elevated surfaces, I would say up to half an inch, but that I think is, is very high. I think maybe a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch would be would be a lot for us at this point in time with some of the latest model runs that I've seen just this morning. So we do have this weather impact alert that's going to be lasting from Sunday morning to the afternoon. Due to the fact that we could see some wet snow mix in, I do want you to take it easy out on the roads, especially Sunday night, as we could see some refreezing and some icy spots on the roadway from some of the rainfall that we're expecting too. Another thing I did want to show you here as well, we are expecting mainly a rain event well toward our east over toward the coastline as temperatures aren't expected to get below freezing or at least to the freezing mark. So what exactly is going to fall and where? Well, you can see in the Piedmont Triad over towards Charlotte and even in Raleigh too, central parts of the state could see kind of that mix of rain and wet snow versus mainly just going to be a rain event for our friends out and along the coastline. So here it is kind of big uh, picture of what's going on. Here comes that cold front that's bringing in those showers, spotty showers this morning for us and some flakes that have already now moved in through portions of the mountains and in the foothills. Second front here with low pressure starting to build in early tomorrow morning. We're on that western edge where we could see maybe some isolated showers of, of wet snow, but again, I'm not expecting very much from this system. Given the upcoming setup, we don't have a system to our north to give us the cold air, and moisture is also running out as temperatures drop too. So it's not the ideal setup for the snow lovers. I'm gonna give you one last look here at your radar at the radar before I let you go. We're currently tracking this system again already starting to dissipate still a couple of isolated showers now building into parts of Forsyth County now toward Reedsville, Rockingham and into Guilford County but temperatures are well above freezing still a couple of isolated flakes over toward the mountains and in the foothills in Wilkesboro as we speak. And I'm gonna take myself off so you can get kind of a full picture here but it's starting to dissipate these showers already within the next half hour or so already just going to be seeing these kind of dry out across the area. One final look at your seven day forecast. Again, we're, we're uh, continuing to track those chances for tomorrow, but chances continue to decrease for snow. So uh, really up to a trace to around a tenth of an inch to two tenths of an inch would be at best for you, for snow lovers that are listening. I'm sorry to say, but you know what? Still will be a pretty sight on Sunday at times too. Otherwise, just dreary and overcast and also cold too. We're going to be in the upper 30s over the next couple of days heading into MLK Day. Middle 40s next week will be right at around 50 by Thursday.